You may want to create dashboards and reports in your applications using some of the charts and graphical representations. Let's see how we can do this in our systems. So here we are looking at my service studio. I have a reactive web application with one entity called transaction. In this entity, I have attributes which are trying to capture the credit card spending. So we have details like company, which is the vendor we spend money at, the amount, and you know some of the details about date when it was spent it on. What we'll do quickly is create a screen. Now this is the one uh, we will use as a dashboard. So I'll just name it dashboard. And uh, basically in our systems, you have a uh, charting library available which gives you access to these kind of charting widgets that we can use on our applications let me do it nicely first of all we'll prepare the page for having these graphs and charts uh, some of these column widgets can help to structure the page nicely so maybe some of these and perhaps I can put a section as well so I can give a title to each of those charts I have as you can see I plan to show at least uh, three or four bit of information maybe the first one can be uh, top transactions second could be top five vendors and the third one could be uh, here so far where we'll do just the summation now next what we'll do is use those charts and graphs as you can see here we have column chart area chart bar and donut pie line chart that can give you any kind of combination that you want to build for example, the top transition could be a column chart. Uh, the top five vendors could be a donut chart. And the year so far could be like a summation which where I can use uh, maybe a number to be shown. I'll come back to this in a while. Now, first of all, you will see immediately when I drag and drop this chart, uh, the platform starts showing error, which is what uh, it's trying to highlight that I don't have uh, this chart mapped to any of the query. So what we'll do is build the query. You could have also built the query first this, I just wanted to, you to realize this part. So we'll fetch data from server side where we have this aggregate now and we'll drag and drop our transaction. Now basically at this part we have to prepare the data for the chart. For example, you can use some of the summations. In my case, it is top transactions so I'll group them by maybe the month. I'll also group them by the month number so I can you know show them in, uh, in, in a proper order. And I can then sum them sum the amount okay so that's, that's the total amount I can do a sorting and a sort to sort them by the month number okay so they appear nicely first month second month and third month thereafter I go back to my screen I select my uh, chart and this time around you see now the query is there what we have to do is bind this chart with this query label would be the month name and the value would be uh, the amount sum there's also we can uh, play with some other properties which are available here. The one that I usually like to use in my application is the color. Uh, perhaps you can show a bit more information by playing with this. For example, if the amount sum is greater than uh, 15,000, perhaps we can show this in a different color. It could be red. And if not, it could stay green. Okay. So that's how we can do it. You can make the condition more complicated by looking at something that you want to show. Likewise, we can go and build more queries. For example, top five vendors. We'll go here and build another query. So fetch data from database. Again, we will get the list of transactions here. And this time around, the query would be, let's say, grouping by the company. We want to find the top five. And the sum would be here. Okay, so we, with this, we are able to get who are the top uh, companies where we are spending money in. Uh, now in this case the query that I have here uh, I can perhaps give it a relevant name get top five vendors so we can associate this easily when we are linking it so uh, here now we are selecting the pie chart and we will select our query top five vendors now we only need five in this case so for that when we are selecting the query here top five we can set the maximum records to five. So this will only get the top five. And then we'll continue putting the label as the company name and value as the amount sum. Okay, so that is also done. Now for years so far, I just want to display some raw numbers, but still there's some beautification I can make. 
example there is a control called counter that I can use so one and perhaps I can use one more okay make use of widget tree in case it's getting tricky to select the controls for example just now I've added uh, two counters under the section I can put them also under containers containers are like div once I add any of these pro these, these uh, uh, elements inside a container I can control their properties for example now I can put a margin okay and then uh, for these uh, control itself I can set their properties maybe to vertical so I can display data one under the other and same thing for the second as well is vertical to true and then uh, for this one we will prepare one more query so again right click on the screen and fetch data from database and we'll get the transactions so for this one we want to calculate the amount so far so that would be the sum total and perhaps we can count the number of companies count. so which should be the uh, number of companies we have spent the money on like I did earlier, let me also change this to a proper name. Get here so far. And then what we'll do is amount sum will display here and count we will display in the second. You can also uh, play with their properties. Maybe the size of this could be 32. Same thing for the second one as well. Slightly bigger. We can also pull them. And we can add some uh, comment here. So this will be the uh, total amount, total amount, and this would be the number of dollars that amount has been spent on. Okay, perhaps the last thing I can do is again fetch the data from database, and this time around we can get all the transactions so that in case somebody is interested in looking at the details he can also look into this get transaction details and this one we will not point it to any charts we just display it at the bottom okay and like we did earlier on we will also put this table under a container and we'll set some margin maybe 40 pixel if you want go ahead and put this also under a section like what we've been doing earlier so section comes here and under section content will put the table okay and for the title we will set it to transition details Thing looks okay let's go ahead and publish the application and see the results let's open it wow well, so we have our top transactions uh, we are getting uh, until now until May and we also put the condition as you can see here the ones which are above 15k are shown in red color and below 15k are in green we also have our top five vendors we have total amount for year so far and we have spent this amount on 693 vendors and just for information we also displayed the transition details so that's how you can create uh, charts and graphs uh, to create your nice looking dashboards uh, do play with those additional properties in these controls they can give you a bit more flexibility otherwise that's how you create your dashboards and reports thanks for watching